Hello, Hateless Gaming here, bringing you another guide on how to use ships. Uh, today, I'm going to go over how I use Age Up Freighter to haul big things into low and null sec. Uh, there's a couple things that I'm going to go over that uh, you, you, you may want to know if you're going to use a jump freighter. This is going to be super simplified. There, There is a lot more knowledge about jump freighters, like which ones are best for what situations. Uh, but I'm going to go over what I know and the information that I use to safely haul with a jump freighter. Uh, the first bit of information is that they're awesome. They take a lot of skills to train. Uh, if you're going to be flying a jump freighter, some skills that you're going to want. Let me open up my character thing here. Uh, in the navigation tab, you are going to want jump drive calibration and jump fuel uh, conservation and fuel conservation. Uh, jump fuel makes you use less jump fuel, fuel conservation... Or no, fuel conservation is not important, but jump drive calibration gives you additional range. Jump fuel cal calibration makes you use a, uh, less uh, isotopes. And then jump drive operation makes it so you don't need as much capacitor, which isn't that big of a deal. Th this could be a big deal when you're navigating through high sec, but not when you're actually jumping. These two are more important. This one's just helpful. Uh, I believe you need to train this to five to train the, these two. So I think that's the thing. Anyways... I, I don't recall exactly, but you're going to need them. Uh, I, I prefer the Re because uh, the the Re's um, attribute is that it has the highest capacitor or capacity, but at the cost that it uses the most fuel. Um, every every jump freighter has something going for it. Uh, I, I believe the, uh, the Galente one has the most health. The... A Mar one is the cheapest to jump around, and the Mimitar one is the fastest to align. I can't remember, but each one has something going for it at the trait of another uh, trait. Um, depending on your needs, you're going to want to fly a different jump freighter. Uh, you, you have three options for fittings. Well, actually four. You can put inertial stabilizers there too. Uh, there, are exper or there are jump drive economizers, which reduce the, the fuel cost of jumping. Uh, you can put in reinforced bulkheads and expanded cargo heads. The uh, they they have six CPU and three power grid. They they can fit hull upgrades and whatnot. I think they might be able to fit inertial stabilizers as well. I can't remember uh, if they can. I'm gonna be buying them inert. Uh, if they can. I'm gonna buy some for this ship because I haven't bought them yet. I I am ill prepared. Ship equipment, uh, propulsion, upgrades, inertial stabilizers. Do they use CPU? Nope. We'll buy three of them. We'll put it inside the cargo. Buy three. So these these would be good if or for alignment speed. Is they're, they're what you want to use for alignment speed. And ER. So the reason that I wanted to do this video is because I had to use it yesterday to move stuff for a Moros that I'm solo PvPing in. Uh, so, without further ado, I've I've got an alt ready to show you guys how this works, but uh, th there's two things you want to do. Uh, whenever you undock in a jump freighter, first you're going to go to your alt, which I have here in an Ibis with a Sino. It has fuel for the Sino, which is liquid ozone. Uh, if you notice inside the jump freighter, I have 30,000 liquid ozone in order to refuel the Sino alt. Uh, every time he goes through and jumps, I, I got fuel. Uh, the other thing you're going to need is fuel. Uh, when you are going somewhere, you gotta form up a fleet with your Sino alt. So we're just gonna invite, form fleet with. I just invited my, myself. And then there, the station has a shape. There's, there's a big circle around it, which is the docking ring. Which is kind of oblong. So there's a bunch of space here where we can dock. We want to get in a place where there's no way the jump freighter is going to land in outside the docking ring. And there's no way that the jump freighter is going to bump off the station. So you see there's a big space like kind of here where we can use. Where there's not a bunch of stuff and we're inside the docking ring. I would ideally be about here inside the docking ring. So that we don't end up bouncing off the station or... Uh, dying when we go through. So, Sino Alt is getting in position. Uh, in in the jump freighter, what we have is we have him. He's he's prepared. We're checking that he's got his fuel. 
We check that he has enough field to go. He only needs like 10K to do the jump that we're gonna do. Uh, you, you always wanna play on your routes. So I'm gonna give myself a destination in, in the fleet chat, uh, which is actually not far, but I'm doing this for a reason. We're gonna set destination there. And it's, it's only five jumps. We're, we're doing a round trip. We're gonna go outside of Jita and then we're gonna go back into Jita. Uh, you're gonna hit F10 and you're gonna look at the map. Now, when you're in a capital ship and you look at the map, it, it kind of looks normal at first, but if you zoom out, there's a bubble. This bubble is my jump range. Uh, like I said, jump drive calibration increases this bubble and makes it bigger. Uh, so as, as far as distance wise, this is about half as far as I can go. So my, my, my alt is in position. He's sitting on the station. I've checked my destination. If we were planning to go out here, like we'd have a jump set up or an alt set up here, ideally uh, somewhere in range and then another alt somewhere in range and then another alt somewhere in range and you can jump. So Mr. Jump Freighter here is going to undock. In the meantime, my alt's going to light the Sino, which we can see. Alt just lit the Sino. It is up. And then alt is undocking, or the, the main would be undocking with the jump freighter. So now we are undocked, we are unsafe. We right click our capacitor and we're gonna jump to, and then coinless would be my alt. So we're just gonna jump to him. We're gonna jump, we are now safe. And we're gonna go through. Land, you notice that took up all my capacitor, so I have nothing. I can't jump again. We're going to dock up immediately. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. And then after we've docked, uh, you, you can also do this onto an astray house, and then, and you'd be tethered immediately. Uh, there's there's several ways to do this, but uh, astray houses and retarus are really good things to jump onto. But if you're stuck doing it with a station, you, you land on the station. Um... And then the, the Sino has a 10 minute cycle. So that Sino is just gonna sit there. Uh, you can log off your alt or whatever. But uh, the second part is when you're hauling a jump freighter in space, when you're moving to Jita, uh, we are going to immediately go buy fuel for this guy here. Show info, show info, view market details. Uh, although I do have fuel inside the jump freighter, I do like to purchase fuel for the ship every time I use it, if I can. Because sometimes you can't purchase fuel, and then you'd leave some for your character. I'm trying to figure out what is the Concord assembly. So I'm going to buy myself the ISK. So now, when you're trying to go back into Empire Space, uh, you... <coughs> You never try and jump a jump freighter onto a, a gate. You jump it into a station, and you go straight from the station to the gate. Um, and you never go through gates with the jump freighter if you can avoid it. Um, actually, I'm going to refit for inertial stabilizers here. I brought this back up, right? No, we're going to go. We're going to bring this back guy back up. I forgot to refit for inertial stabilizers. We just had a reduced fuel cost for the jump. And then now we're gonna refit for inertial stabilizers so that we align a little bit faster. I'll put these in the cargo. We're gonna put the inertial stabilizers on. And now we, we have a much shorter alignment time. We have a 16 second align time rather than like a 30 second. So now we're gonna undock and then we're gonna bail immediately. We, we're, we're not too worried about who is in system because uh, if anything shows up, we're immediately going to dock up or bail. We're going to hit control space and dock if anything shows up. Now, the important bit is that this Sino is still lit. Uh, so you, you jump him into the system on a station right next to where you're going, which we are planning on returning to Jita. I'm just doing a, a quick thing for you guys here. So we are returning to Jita. We're just going to immediately warp. And we're going to wait for it to warp. Uh, jump freighters are obnoxiously slow and so the the big part is that I have the Sino lit if I see anything go wrong if I see a bunch of suicide gankers forming on a gate if I go through a gate and I see a trap if I see war targets if I see anything dangerous I can always jump back here I just reset the trip I don't have to sit here and and be scared trying to align i don't have to sit here for 30 seconds i can just right click jump to 
coinless. Be, right now I can't because he's in the same system, so it doesn't work. But once I'm one jump over, I I, I can always just jump right back to coinless. Um, as long as the Sino's still lit. Uh, so what, what, what we do is as soon as the Sino expires on the alt, we're going to dock him up, re, reship him, and then or refuel his ship because he's, he's in an abyss i mean come on uh and then it, it, this the moment there's trouble i light the sino again we 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 rinse repeat we dock back up uh that you should never have you should never move a jump freighter without the ability to jump it away so now there's there's a couple things here they would love to kill me uh you don't jump gates in null sec because there's bubbles and whatnot and you really don't want to be caught in a bubble in a jump freighter uh, unless you have a scout or a webbing alt to help you, there's no reason to jump in in null sec. You really shouldn't do it. Uh, in low sec, you should be jumping off the station directly into the gate. You should not gate yourself into another low sec system ever with the jump freighter. It's just it's a bad idea. So I'm I'm largely gonna fast forward. Uh, hopefully this is no problems, but jump freighters are obnoxiously slow. Uh, so like I said, so say ten people showed up and and out of nowhere i'd hit control space i'd right click i'd jump to coinless i'm out before they can even lock me like you 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 just you bail that's a first sign of trouble a, a macario bumping you a, a bunch of catalysts on the gate a bunch of tornadoes like anything that looks scary you immediately just jump don't risk your 10 billionist jump freighter on something like that i'm gonna Fast forward through the rest of this while I uh, transport through and then I'll always use an insta doc. Uh, but everybody, fly safe, have a great day, and I will see you in the next one. Okay, so that just happened. Uh, somebody, a smart bombing baller just killed a pod or a small frigate, and we watched it die. Uh, we didn't panic because it was just a smart bomb. I kind of looked at it like, what's going on? Uh, the, the ship is now safe. It is warping to the insta dock. Uh, there's not much that can kill it at this point, uh, unless we fail the dock, but I don't foresee that happening. Uh, we are just going to sit here and wait a moment. And somehow we made it back to Jita without a problem. Uh, everybody, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is how you fly a jump freighter. Uh, it's just one jump, but you can replicate this to get anywhere in New Eden in a very short order of time. Uh, just make sure you keep into account jump fatigue, because that's, that's pretty important. Um, yeah, everybody fly safe and have a good one. Apparently something just blew up there too. Sitting in Jita watching explosions, man. Good times.